Hello everyone, it has been a while but we are back and we're coming back with a fix for local multiplayer. So if you're unaware, Unreal Engine 5 seemed to have a problem with local multiplayer but I found a solution so here we go. So I'm going to minimize this one and come over into a fresh one, haven't done nothing to this one. I'm going to change my loadout real quick. And so first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a child blueprint class just to have a player 2. So bp underscore player 2. And all I'm going to do to this one is just change the mesh so that we can visually see that they are different. That way if you've got a player 2 actor that you want to use, you this will show you how to set up that selection. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it took so long, but there we go. Alright, so I'm going to change the mesh over to many. And then there. And that's pretty much all we got to do with him. So now I'm going to go into the third person blueprint class. And I'm going to open up the game mode also. We're going to need the full blueprint editor. <clears throat> so in here, I'm going to create a custom event. And this is adjust players. This will be what adds or removes players as needed. So we are going to first set default pawn class so that we can determine what player 2 will be. We want player 2 to be player 2. Then after that we are going to, so back in the day you could just do a create local player and it would do everything for you. But I think with the enhanced inputs or something, I don't know what's going on, but they, they broke that. So now we need to get all platform or all active users. Get all currently active platform IDs. Anyone who has a mapped input device. You will need a second controller in order to make this work. Because uh, the keyboard binding doesn't seem to be fixed. But after that, we're going to do a for each loop. And then for each one, we're going to see is has. I'm going to check my notes. We're off to a great start coming back, aren't we? Get local player. Ah. Alright, so there we're going to see, we're going to get local player controller from platform user. And we're going to see if it is valid, because if it is, that's already a person in the world, in the game. We don't want to do anything, but if it's not, then from that array element, we're going to create local player for platform user. And then this will, if you have three or four controls plugged in, this will create them for all but I only have two plugged in right now so I'm just going to promote this to a variable variable called player to controller if you wanted to make this an array and do like local player controllers you could do that but for our purposes this is just what I'm going to have so I'm gonna back this one up over here and in order to get rid of the local player controller we're just gonna drag that out convert to validated get if it's not valid we want to create it but if it is then we want to remove local player and we'll destroy the pawn also just like that so now in our third person character we'll just set up a quick custom event so I'm gonna add a one event well not a custom event but you know what I'm saying we're going to get the game mode and then you will cast to your game mode I'm still using the third person game mode so I'll be casting to that one and then that is where we will call our adjust players and boom there's one more thing that we need to do that's right <laughs> see like I said I think it has something to do with the input mapping because if I do jump in right now and I try to move that one moves fine second player still doesn't move and I think it's just that these input mappings aren't 
firing off quite fast enough so if we add a little delay right here I usually just leave it at the point too because it's not enough to make a difference but if we do that and then we jump in player one moves or with the controller and then player two moves also so that is how you can go back to having your local multiplayer games going there is one little caveat to this in editor mode if you hit F11 see I'm trying to move on second player right now it's not working First player still works fine, second player doesn't move until I F11 again. Now don't let that worry you, let me save everything real quick because I have a packaged one right here to show you. And this is one that I just set up. Well that was kind of cool. So there goes player one and player two so in your package projects it will work fine and full screen and let me reach over and try to there we go I'm uncoordinated with both hands uh. but yeah all right so and that's all you need to do in order to go back to making your split screen local multiplayer Diablo 3 style games, whatever you want to do with local, there you are. So, hope you enjoyed that, and I um, will be seeing y'all soon for another series that we're starting. So, see y'all in a bit. Bye.